As Sergeant Fraser told Captain Mannering in the classic wartime sitcom Dad's Army, we're doomed. The British Army wants to relax security checks for recruits from overseas in order to boost diversity and inclusion. This according to an exclusive from the Sunday Telegraph. Britain's armed forces have consistently failed to hit recruitment targets and are looking overseas to boost ethnic minority representation, which currently stands at 14 percent of the regular army. A document leaked to the paper entitled The British Army's Race Action Plan notes that the army struggles to attract top talent from ethnic minority backgrounds into the officer corps. Now, diversity is important. Diversity of background, diversity of opinion, diversity of faith, of lived experience, you name it. No organisation should be homogenous or closed to any groups or be guilty of one-sided ideological groupthink. But in our, in our increasingly dangerous world, do we really want to compromise security checks on those who seek to serve in the British Armed Forces and take up arms on our behalf? People from all backgrounds should be encouraged to participate in the military and the job should be made attractive to everyone. But in the end, do you really care who defends your country, who puts their life on the line as long as someone does? The defence of our territorial boundaries, which were threatened in two world wars, shouldn't become a box ticking exercise. Of course, the only people that helps is tyrants around the world, like Vladimir Putin, who, let me tell you, is not sweating the small stuff over how diverse the Russian military are as his troops rampage across Ukraine. Military recruitment is at an all-time low, and the focus should not be the racial, religious or cultural profile of the people that we're asking to do a difficult and dangerous job, but it should be about getting the numbers up and choosing the best people for the job. Shipping people from overseas to fulfil quotas strikes me as dishonest. It's cooking the books, frankly, all in order to fulfil the unwavering political mantra that diversity is our strength. Ultimately, we're weakening ourselves with all of this nonsense. Who could forget the shocking story last year, which revealed that white men seeking to join the Royal Air Force were described as useless white male pilots. A number of selection boards to place new recruits on courses were cancelled as they did not include women or ethnic minorities. This insanity proved to be against the law, with the RAF paying out thousands to applicants who have been unfairly disadvantaged because of their gender or the colour of their skin. Sky News revealed at the time that Group Captain Elizabeth Nicholl, the then head of RAF recruitment, had resigned in protest of what she deemed to be an unlawful order, effectively pausing the selection of white male recruits to hit what she described as impossible diversity targets. When the military go woke, you know you're in trouble because let me tell you, the Taliban are not woke. ISIS are not woke. They don't worry about pronouns. The Iranian regime is not woke. And Vladimir Putin is a lot of things, but woke he is not. Yet. And he'll be chuckling to himself about this story as he sips his evening vodka. It's the military's job to go out there and kill the enemy. But with this nonsense coming from the MOD, it feels increasingly like the enemy is within. This is a war on common sense, and Britain's national security is turning into national insanity. So, the last word goes to Private Fraser. We're doomed. <laughs> Don't be quiet, Fraser.